Hello everyone, these are the food to back again, and today, well, guess what? I'm not doing a tech review. Today, I'm doing something that people always seem to be asking me for, and it seems to be pretty popular on my channel, a card class. And I'm going to be doing a few card classes in the coming weeks. Um, let's get started with it. Today, I decided to do one. It's all about the independence, really. It's all about the U.S. independence. It's the bicycle colonial unrest versus, well, the independence next. Colonial unrest over here is very recently released from Robert Tomlinson. Both were made uh, through Kickstarter. And, of course, the independence next were made by Jackson Rollinson, Kings Wild. Clean on rest, as you can see. There was just one deck. Per se, there, there was a limited edition one, but it's the same thing. Uh, it's a nice vintage style deck, as you can see. The bicycle branding and everything. No unboxing or foil or anything, but that's okay. It really uh, fits with the uh, time frame that it's from, I guess. Uh, the cards, I do like the cards. There's two cards that tell you all about, well, that tell you who is on every card. And then the cards themselves, beautiful artwork, really nicely detailed. They, uh, they actually made it so you can distinguish between the court cards and the number cards, because all the number cards and court cards, all the cards have images of different people from that uh, time period. Of importance, uh, he made it distinguishable between the court cards and number cards with this special border, which is a good idea. And same with the aces. The jokers in the stack are really nice. Uh, they depict they they depict the uh, Boston Tea Party, them throwing all the tea. Whoops, overboard and. Little British guys going, No, don't do it. What are you doing? Idiots. Yeah. <laughs> so, that being said, it's a pretty cool deck of cards. The Ace of Spades, just like the rest of the cards, just has a figure on it. Um, where is he? In this case, it's George Washington. Good old George. The back design, however, um, it just confuses me a little bit. I just don't really understand it too much. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, per se, but it's just... I don't know. It is what it is. And one thing I'm about these videos, I'm going to try to not do a an actual another review. I'll try to keep it brief. But let's get on to these ones from Zanfran Robinson. There is the Continental Deck and the Crown Deck representing the U.S. and the monarchy, British, both have very beautiful boxes with a lot of nice embossing and foil, and throughout, a nice, uh, basically foil seals that are numbered individual. As you can see. And then the back designs on each one are a little bit different. I should say for this one, there could have been a second deck perhaps if there had been more funding, but it didn't happen. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's pretty cool on the five. It says join or die. And then this uh, to me is a little bit strange. The inside of the box, it looks like he made it so that you can actually reverse it. You can open it up, turn it inside out, and get a new box. It says Continental on both sides, and same with the other one, Crown on both sides. There's embossing on the inside. There's this map, basically, and kind of went a little bit overboard, I think, personally. I mean, it's the inside of the box. Nobody looks at it, for the most part. We do get a couple of diptych tokens here. It's, uh, I guess, George Washington on a horse. Right. One of them also serves as... An ad card. 
and I mean the number cards very nice I like the details you put in the background reds for the crowns and then the, the black so for the US the uh, continental side a uh, nice speed kit that fits well and then code cards represent different figures they also have a couple of other jokers that have Lady Liberty on them that one has and, and this one has I guess some guy representing the bricks but uh, of course as usual with Jackson Robinson highly detailed code cards very nicely done And, oh. and then the other deck you'll find is basically the same thing, except that it's got different Diptych Joker featuring that British guy, I'm not sure who he is. And <coughs> a slightly different Ace of Spades. One thing that does bug me a little bit is that the court cards are all basically exactly the same from one deck to the other and as as is everything else the tokers are also the same it's just the ace of spades is a little bit different and the back design is a bit different and those diptych tokers are different i mean that's fine you still put a lot of effort into this deck the artwork is very nice I like the dirty look he gave it, as did Robert in his deck. And I like the, the cards as well, the back designs, thin borders, everything is very nice. There is also limited edition versions of this one. I believe these are the standard ones. Um, I could be wrong though. But there is, I know there's two other versions that are the same thing. These might actually be, the, I guess these ones are the limited ones with the seals on them. But there is, I, don't know, I know there's two other ones that are in the series, either the limited ones or the standard ones that are, again, the same thing, but just uh, a slightly different back design. But anyways, um, I think if I had to choose in this card class between one or the other, it's a tough call. Jackson's definitely has much nicer boxes. Um, fully embossings and foil, and of course the back designs are also better. The artwork is really nice on his, but as is on Robert's, and I appreciate the fact that Robert went out of his way to draw 52, 54 characters, whatever it was, one for every card. Whereas Jackson only did one set of court cards and duplicated, duplicated it in the other deck. There might have been some minor differences, I can't call. But it was the same characters. So there's some aspects I like of both of them. But overall, if I had to choose one, I would probably give it to the independent stacks for this one. They're just really well done really nice details on the boxes one other thing though that i'm going to nitpick about the independent decks that would have been cool is since you got one deck that is a crown and one that is the continental i think it would have been cool if this one focused on the brits and had british court cards and this one had american court cards just to you know let this one represent the British let this one represent the Americans. That might have been a, a slightly better way of doing it. Nothing wrong with the way he did it. It just might have been slightly better. But anyways, that is uh, this card glass. Please try to refrain from making suggestions for card glasses. Because I had like a couple hundred from last time. It just overwhelmed me. And I gave up 
Now I've got a few that I'm going to do myself here. Five for now, and then I might come up with more later on. And I think this is good. You know, I, I can figure out what decks should be classed, and I think they're pretty good classes, the ones I come up with. And I think you'll enjoy it, and it's a lot less hassle. Because otherwise then I start making massive lists of card classes, I have to check them twice, like Santa, to make sure that they're not duplicated. Uh, if anything that I've already done, or that anything that's been suggested, and then, and then I have to find all the decks, and it just becomes a massive pain in my back. So, um, I think this way is better. I mean, if you got a suggestion that's really, really good, and that you're fairly certain I haven't done before, feel free to pass it along. It doesn't mean I'll do it. But, um, also try to refrain from stuff like B versus Bicycle, or Monarch versus Artivist, or whatever. Just getting a little bit tired of doing stuff that's like Illusionist versus Fury 11, just for the sake of doing Illusionist versus Fury 11, and, and stuff like that. And, and also no colors, like nothing like Blue Monarchs versus Red Monarchs, that's just ridiculous. And, uh, and and definitely nothing like a, a Jerry's Nugget versus whatever an Ovindus Dex per se and um and that sort of thing. But anyways, I I think you'll be happy that I'm doing some card classes. Stay tuned. I think you'll like what I've got coming up in card classes. I'll see you next time.